Welcome to Tiffy Styles Travel Thursdays. Stay until the end to watch the preview of next week's episode. So, it's your girl, Tiffy Styles, in the back of the video. So, for today's video, me and Hubby. Hubby stands behind We're traveling to Guatemala. And I'm super excited. We're gonna be going to Guatemala City, Antigua, and Lake Atitlan. Actually, Guatemala City just for the night. Not really, we're not gonna really explore Guatemala City, but yeah. So just stick around. Okay, guys, I just want y'all to see my hair. Change and now we're about to go to customs. Hopefully, it's not super packed. And it is. Wow, okay. Wow. So, this is our room for the night. We just got to Guatemala City. All right, guys. So, there were only night flights available, which is why we arrived at night, which is why we decided to just book a quick um, hotel just to stay in Guatemala City overnight. Once again, we chose not to explore Guatemala City because we heard it's super dangerous i mean maybe if you go on a tour with like a tour guide then you can have the chance to see guatemala city but we heard too much about it so we were like uh no just gonna stay here for the night and then travel to antigua in the morning we decided to get breakfast before heading out i'm not gonna lie to you they have a lot of different options here i, I really didn't expect that the food tastes so good there's Q. I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of information during this vlog. We used an Uber, which it's so easy to get an Uber, guys. Uh, we traveled an hour away to Antigua and we only paid $40, which is so mind blown to me because an hour ride in New York City would have been like over $100. You can also take a shuttle, which I believe a shuttle is around 20 uh, dollars i'm converting everything to usd i don't know it in quetzals right now but it is super cheap but you're just going to uh, share with multiple people in one ride so if you prefer private uber if you want to share if you want to save coins then take a shuttle yes. you run out of gas Antigua, Guatemala is specifically known for its volcanoes, which you're going to see in this video, especially their unique Spanish-style architecture. And look at the cobblestone streets, guys. It's just so unique to me. So we're here at El Convento Boutique Hotel. Look at the volcano. Okay, and then we're gonna enter now. All right, come on. Ready? Hola. Oh, gracias. Hola. <laughs> It is hot, okay? Like super hot. But um, guys, so we are supposed to check in at three o'clock. It's too dirty, we're a little early. So we're just literally walking the street, yeah? Mm -hmm. right we are getting water, guys. Huh? Two. We're in the cute little deli. This is, this is the outfit for the day. We're about to actually just um, take pictures and then go eat and relax for today, yeah? This is the outfit. We should, we should have bought our own like steamer and we didn't, so we kind of messed up there. We're gonna go out to eat now I'm at the El Convento boutique hotel that we're at. It might be a little pricey, but that's okay. Just for today, because we haven't done any like real research on like restaurants and things like that. I said I was gonna stop being steak. Psych. <laughs> 
Guatemala gets really cold at night and most of these hotels do not have a heater like they don't have a heater system so uh, we definitely made use of this fireplace outfit of the day I got fruit and you got granola. I'm telling you, everything he gets always is better than what I choose. This looks so good. Guys, free breakfast every morning. And let me tell you, you have options. And the breakfast was so delicious. We are on our way to Hobbitanango. We were saying it wrong, guys. We were like Hobbitanango. <laughs> Sad. Um, but yeah, we're on our way now. We took a Uber. It was about uh, 67 pretzels, which is not bad. So we are clearly going to be walking. Walking. I, yeah. <laughs> Wear this long dress. What in the world? So this eco park is like a park that is made to resemble um, a fictional land of hobbits. And at this park, there's beautiful scenery, so you can take tons of pictures. There are a lot of activities, one of my favorite, which was archery. There are also restaurants and vendors, and you're about to see all of which I mentioned in these upcoming clips, so enjoy, because uh, I definitely enjoyed it. Then, now we're on a shuttle, and then we're gonna go higher, apparently. As if we're not already super high. <laughs> Shot of the hand. dive into this guys but mm, mm -mm. looks so good you got fries too <laughs> Wait, you're recording now. Yeah. guys we played ourselves we got american style egg and not thinking that it's gonna be like this oh god mm -mm. Mm -mm. we're walking to the atvs right now we're gonna do our atv Okay? 
Oh, babe, this way. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was this way, guys. I, oh, I would have bust my oh my god. So this is the city view of Antigua. Mm -hmm. Why do I think they only had four? Um, mm -hmm. Why do I think they only had four? Four what? Uh, volcano. <laughs> <laughs> volcano. Hey, is getting water because he was like, oh, I don't think we're gonna need water, and I was like, I think we need water. <laughs> we can, we can. Like, I can't even talk because I'm so hot and parched. <laughs> So now we are on the grounds of the coffee tour and on this tour we pretty much learn how coffee is made one of the best coffees comes straight from guatemala Just know that if you book this tour you have to know how to ride a bike guys because <laughs> we will be riding bikes in this upcoming clip all right just a heads up <laughs> my pink bike yeah we're about to ride I'm like, I know you're not trying to pass me. Huh? Hi guys, so this is coffee, literally. So after it was washed, they laid on the ground to just dry. It's pretty cool. If you look, come closer. There's a chamber inside that you can see the oh. coffee going around. Oh, I see. The bottom is to get cold. Okay. So majority of Guatemalans identify as Christians, which is why you see crosses all over. So you can't come to Antigua, Guatemala without seeing the famous clock tower, which is pretty much a symbol of Guatemala's independence. I think they had um, independence from the Spanish colonial rule in 1821. So you see a lot of people come here and take photos. No thanks. I mentioned earlier this is an easy way to get around besides the uber or um, the chicken bus uh, but this is a super cheap way to get around which can cost you from maybe 5 to 25 quetzals but make sure you know the amount before you get in so they don't try to rip you off stay tuned for next week on tiffy style travel thursdays from anniversary dinner to mishaps to traveling to lake atitlan to the pools and beautiful culture